When you hear the phrase galvanized metal, you might picture shiny steel fences, rooftop sheets, or hardware parts coated in a silvery finish. But what exactly makes something galvanized, and why is this process so widely used in construction, automotive manufacturing, home improvement, and even everyday objects we rarely notice? In today's video, we're diving deep into what galvanized metal really is, how it's made, why it's so corrosion resistant, and how this simple yet incredibly effective process became one of the most important innovations in modern material protection. And you'll probably be surprised at how many things around you are galvanized without you even realizing it. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, galvanized metal is simply metal, usually steel or iron, that has been coated with a protective layer of zinc. This zinc layer is the magic behind galvanized material because it shields steel from oxidation, rust, and environmental damage. The word galvanized comes from the name of Italian scientist Luigi Galvani, whose experiments with metals and electric stimulation inspired the term. Even though today's galvanizing process isn't directly related to electricity, the word stuck and eventually came to mean coated in zinc for protection. Zinc is the perfect candidate for this job because it's highly resistant to corrosion, and even more importantly, it acts as a sacrificial metal. This means that if moisture, salt, or oxygen ever reach the steel, the zinc corrodes first, sparing the steel underneath. So even if the coating gets scratched, the steel still stays protected. The most common method of producing galvanized metal is called hot dip galvanizing, and the process is as industrial and impressive as it sounds. Imagine large sheets, pipes, or parts of steel being cleaned thoroughly to remove oil, rust, and impurities. Then they're dipped into a bath of molten zinc, heated to around 450 degrees Celsius or 840 degrees Fahrenheit. As the steel is submerged, the zinc reacts chemically with the surface to form a tightly bonded alloy layer. When the metal is pulled out and cooled, it ends up with a strong, durable, corrosion-resistant coating that looks slightly shiny or matte depending on the finishing process. You've probably seen this finish on street light poles, guardrails, metal buckets, and even rooftop trusses. Hot dip galvanizing is extremely popular because the coating becomes part of the metal itself, not just a surface layer, making it incredibly long-lasting. There's also a method called electrogalvanizing, which uses an electrical current to apply a thin layer of zinc to steel. This process creates a smoother, more refined finish that's often used in automobiles, appliances, and electronics where appearance matters. Because electrogalvanizing uses a thinner zinc coating, it's not as corrosion resistant as hot dip galvanizing but it's perfect for parts that need a clean, uniform, and paint-ready surface. Another method is galvanealing, which combines galvanizing and annealing to produce a dull, matte surface ideal for welding and painting. This is widely used in car bodies, construction panels, and high-strength components that require both durability and formability. So why is galvanized metal such a big deal? Simply put, it lasts a long, long time. Depending on the environment, galvanized steel can resist rust for anywhere from 20 to over 70 years. In rural environments with less pollution, it can last even longer. The zinc coating acts as a literal barrier that blocks moisture, air, and corrosive chemicals. But what makes this even better is the previously mentioned sacrificial action, 
known scientifically as cathodic protection. If the coating is damaged or scratched, zinc molecules naturally migrate to the exposed steel, preventing rust from forming. It's like having an automatic self-healing defense system built into the metal. This is something regular paints or coatings can't do. Once they chip or peel, moisture gets in and the corrosion process begins. If you're wondering where we actually use galvanized metal, the list might surprise you because it's practically everywhere. In construction, galvanized steel is used for roofing sheets, building frames, ductwork, fences, structural beams, and support columns. In infrastructure, it's found in highway guardrails, utility poles, bridges, drainage systems, and street furniture. In daily life, You'll see it in nails, bolts, laundry tubs, water pipes, bike frames, toolboxes, and countless household items. Its durability and affordability also make it a favorite in agriculture, where it's used in irrigation systems, animal enclosures, and grain silos. Once you start paying attention, you'll notice just how many parts of modern life depend on the reliability of galvanized metal. But despite its strengths, galvanized metal isn't perfect. It performs extremely well outdoors, but harsh environments like coastal areas or industrial zones with high chemical exposure can shorten its lifespan. Salt, in particular, can accelerate corrosion, which is why marine structures often use specialized coatings or stainless steel instead. Another limitation is that welding galvanized steel creates fumes that must be controlled. And for projects requiring extremely smooth or aesthetic finishes, raw galvanized coating may need to be painted or powder coated for a cleaner appearance. Still, for most general applications, galvanized metal offers the ideal balance of protection, cost, and longevity. In the end, galvanized metal is more than just steel with a coat of zinc. It's a material that has shaped modern construction, transportation, and manufacturing. By giving metal the ability to resist rust and survive decades of exposure to the elements, galvanizing has helped make buildings safer, infrastructure stronger, and everyday products more reliable. Whether you're building a house, repairing something at home, or just curious about how the objects around you are made, understanding galvanized metal gives you a deeper appreciation for the hidden engineering that keeps our world running. So the next time you see that dull silver finish on a piece of steel, remember, there's a whole science behind why it lasts as long as it does. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.